The double slit experiment indicates that energy was moving in waves. But the current narrative on energy is that it is made up of particles. So which is it? Particles or waves? Let's take a brief look at what quantum physics teaches. They say atoms are made up of three different types of particles. In the nucleus are positive protons and neutral neutrons held together by weak force and strong force, surrounded by negative electrons that also cause electricity. Although the electromagnetic field really isn't described here, this field is considered a force. There isn't much movement described by this model and perhaps a lot more questions than answers. Now let's compare it to what the Cabillion says. An atom is caused by two different types of energy, which are extreme opposites. The nucleus is made of outward moving heat and light, which happens to be masculine, as all males have an outward property. Surrounded by inward dark energy, which happens to be feminine, as all females have an inward property. And the two come together for the same reason males and females come together throughout all of nature to reproduce or to create something, and they're attracted to each other by that same attraction that drives these two to come together. The outward light pushes against the inward parts, causing a vibration, and this works just like sex organs or like reproductive organs. Now let's follow the movement. The movement of inward energy would naturally create a hole on the top and bottom of the atom, just like water going down a drain or a whirlpool. With this model, the electromagnetic field is caused by unbalance, meaning it's not a force, but a result. Where there is unbalance, this field emerges, and it moves in waves caused by the vibration itself. In fact, because it's caused by unbalance, I have labeled it balancing energy. The electromagnetic field is balancing energy. If the nucleus of outward heat and light is stronger than the inward parts surrounding it, then this field can carry out excess heat and light out of the nucleus, and this is what electricity is. The waves carry this energy out, so they become like particles. This will occur until the atom has balanced out. If the inward parts surrounding the nucleus of light are stronger than the outward nucleus, then this field will try to bring in heat and light through the waves until there is balance, and this is called magnetism. As we know, if we put heat on a magnet, it will lose its magnetism because it becomes balanced. For reference, since blue has a higher frequency, it represents the electro part of this electromagnetic field, which happens to be more masculine. And the red, which has a lower frequency, will represent the magnetic part of the electromagnetic field, or balancing energy, which happens to be more feminine. Granted, it is not what quantum physics is teaching, but this is a lot more simple and is based on simple logic, understanding movement, and the purpose of gender. So to answer the original question, are there waves or particles? Well, there are both. The waves carry the particles. Now the double slit experiment makes perfect sense. With this theory, different sized particles do not have different properties. They can be more than one size, but they all have the same property. Depending on the size, the property can be magnified or diminished. And they do not come from electrons, they come from the nucleus of atoms. Quantas, leptons, ions, boson Higgs, quarks, all those particles are really just the same thing. It's like attempting to name different droplets of water while not understanding it was all just still water. This model from the Cabillion lets us know that electricity and magnetism are opposites. Imagine that. Energy is not positive and negative. It is masculine and feminine. The waves have an inward property, making this more female, and the particles scooped out by the waves are more outward, making them more male. This attraction allows the waves to hold the particles. Now as the particles release their heat and light, the waves left behind become more female, and so they look for the next outward masculine source, which would happen to be the nucleus of the atom itself. In this way, balancing energy recycles for efficiency. After knowing this and comparing it to a black hole, or better named, a black body, specifically that it sucks in heat and light, can you guess what they really are?